you are watching. Well, me and my buddy Matt back there. Uh, we come out to a spot we've hunted a bunch over the last year. It's an old track. Used to be a high school track. The track is still laid. You can see it right here. And it goes all the way around. And then the corner gets cut out by that building over there. And then it comes back around. Stadiums used to be, the home stands used to be right there. Visitors right there. Uh, ticket booth up there. We've pulled a bunch of silver coins out of this place. It's been hunted to death by metal detectorist over the years but my very first hole I just popped a nickel out she's sitting right there but it is a 1940 not too bad for the first coin all right Matt's over here he got me beeping on a hole and I think he just pulled a piece of brass up but I was bottom feeding off him a little bit maybe a lot of bit working my way back over there and uh, probably seven inches down pulled a coin up I think it's just gonna be a wheat but I'll film it just in case this place used to be a horse track before it was a football field and it also used to be in the area where the state fairgrounds were so we pulled Indians out here and some old stuff but this one's just a witty 1936 yep. just got out on a good one right here a little rosy 1952 it looks like 1952 rosy Very cool. This track's still producing silver for us. Here's a pretty cool find. It's a big old chunky pocket knife. Backside of the handle's missing, but that thing's big. And I just popped up a little coin right there. Been digging some deep junk, but there's areas that are filled and areas that aren't. But I just got to a spot that it's got the good coins in it. It's gonna be a weedy. Nice and green. Well, Lights fading on us, but I doubt you'll be able to see this guy. Let's see if I can. There we go. Got a little marching band button again. There we go. Got a nice shank on the back. Still pretty cool. Not terribly old, but it does have a Waterbury back mark. We're going to keep rolling. On to the next. Found a little hot spot and I just popped up this uh, little trumpet key, I believe. It's got the ivory top on it. Screwed down into the valve. Uh, I'm sure the marching band guy was pissed when he lost that sucker. You want to show him what I found, buddy? Oh, just dug up this uh, little lantern piece. Get it cleaned up with a gum. Pretty cool. Well, digging right there. Just popped up this cool little guy. It hits a small fork on a clip. I don't know how you can make that out, but got a little fork right there. I'm pretty sure that this would have flipped over and clipped on that back piece right there and almost been like a tie clip or something along those lines like that but it's pretty cool if anybody knows what that is let me know got an overload signal I thought it was gonna be a be a cap to a bottle or something and if you look right there I got a silver quarter rim popping out and it's definitely a it's gonna be a Washington yeah yeah, it'll be a Washington. Cool though. Sucker was only about two, three inches deep max. Give it a little wipe. I don't care to rub these Washingtons that much. The 1941. Very cool. Got a mint. Nope. 1941 Washington. Wasn't deep at all. 
we're heading down the road a little bit. Ran into a fellow KDD member, Ron Ferguson, and he's got a Garrett 80 Pro. He said, come on down the road with me. I got a couple places down here we haven't touched. So Zach's behind me. And we're following Ron. He's up the road just a little bit. Let you see where we're hunting. Check out how big this tree is. Well, Ron got on something cool. Check that old guy out. Nice old axe head. It's working the woods real good. Yeah, I got Zach coming over here. Just popped up a little roundness in the hole, but it is not a coin. A little itty bitty musket pistol bullet. I just dropped it. Gone forever. Just kidding. There it is. That is cool. Well, worked my way up a little bit. And this is super fitting for my channel. Because I just found a button. It's not too old. It's a little jean button, overall button. But check out what it says. This is Old Kentucky. I don't know how you make it out, but I'll put a picture up of it. Pretty cool. It knew the Kentucky dirt diggers were coming to find it. Well, we switched locations again. Right at another cornfield. Sitting here by Zach, I just dug about three or four inches down. No buckle of some sort, it was bent up. I kind of unbent it, but it's got that look to it. Well, we changed locations again. Zeus is helping me find the good stuff. We're out in another cornfield, and I ain't been here, but this is my very first hole I dug. There's a little marble, got a coin. Let's see here. Oh, it's just a stinking Lincoln. Oh well. Well, digging a marble though. Sitting there gleaming in the sun. Cool. Well, moved up the road. We're still at the same spot, but just moved up in the backyard where the house used to sit. I pulled up this cool charm. It used to be gold plated. You can see some gold wash on the back of it, up in the top corner, but that is a cool old copper heart charm. Well, Ron just got a cool one. Dug a little cat pistol. Pretty cool. Well, Zach just made a cool one. We're finding some good Kentucky relics out here. That is a 1959. It says driver's license. 1959. It's got the state seal in the middle. And it says Kentucky at the bottom. And it's got a license number 12940. But that is awesome used to have a pin on the back that is too cool all right we're on to the next Let's check it out well moving right along I just popped up this little guy cool little buckle of some sort started getting some good signals out here we're gonna keep swinging. On to the next. Well, Zach just come up and drop this in my hand. Uh, kids are shooting their little toy pistols out here and leaving them behind. Oh, well, just pop this guy up. I got it upside down. Got a little ribbon right there. Some fancy all around it. It's like little roses. Looks like it had some turquoise paint on it at some point. Pretty cool. Another random signal out here in the cornfield. Well, just walked over here, got me a coin, a little nickel. But it is a 1939. It wanted to be a buff. Well, look at there. Another marble. A little blue and white one. Crazy everywhere out here. Must have been a bunch of kids playing marbles in Reed. Well, Zach, we changed locations. We're at another little house. Big yard. And Zach just pulled up a little pocket knife. Not a little one, big one. Pretty cool. We're gonna see what this yard's got for us. Well, I don't know what it is with Kentucky stuff today, but there's an old keychain that's got the old Kentucky Wildcats logo on it. It's got Kentucky going down the side right there, a big K and the old Wildcat sitting right there. Well, Zach just brought me over this cool guy. Look at that little dude. 
Nice little tiny buckle. Take it all day long. Oh, well, we're back out here again. We, uh, Zach and I from Metal Detector America got 30 wheat pennies. I ducked 17, he ducked 13 at this place last night, right before dark in about 45 minutes. So we thought it would be a good idea to come back out here. And I'm working up beside the house. Just got my first coin. Nothing crazy, but you know me, I like to film the first coin. 44 again. Well, just got on a good one right here. Must have passed it last night because I dug a hole here, here, and found wheat pennies last night, I remember. And I popped up a coin in about six inches. I don't know what it is yet. Probably just a wheat, but they're all deep out here. But then I got my pinpointer out and started hearing a signal a little deeper than that. And I got a silver Merc right here. You can tell it's a Merc. Got her head popping out. Looks like it's a 1939. I can already see it. We're going to get them cleaned up. We're going to find out what we got. Oh, right there's a good looking 1939 Merc. Let's see if it's got a mint mark on the back. Hit me one more time. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now that's a no mint. 39P. Philadelphia. Cool. Let's see what this this coin is real quick we'll get her cleaned up be right back well that weedy ended up being a 1919 well i thought i was done in this hole took my pinpointer again and was going over the clumps and sitting right there another coin still in the situation that one was a 1919 see if we can get another one i'm gonna mess around this hole a little longer see if there's any more pop this guy out well another 44 so in that hole now, we've got a 39 Merc, a 1919 Weedy, and a 44 Weedy. Pretty cool spill right there. Love them coin spills. Well, Matt's over digging. I'm still working the front yard pretty hard. And I just got another deep one at 8 inches. Still laying there. It'll be right there. Probably just another Weedy, because I've dug a lot of Weedies in here so far. We'll go find out though. Oh, just lost it. Here's where it was imprinted. There it is. Oh, looks like we got a spill because there's a that's a nickel. And I think I had a weedy in there somewhere. So there's a nickel. Pop it loose first. Set it right there. Well guys are getting antsy. Where that nickel was. There's also another coin down here. And it's gonna be a silver dime. It's just a rosy, but cool. Hit me real quick with some of that. Rub him rosies. Well, that's crazy. That's not. That's a, a 46 too. That's a 46 rosy and a 46 nickel. That's pretty cool. I think there's a wheat penny hiding on me somewhere around here because that was the first coin I saw. What? See if it's got a mint mark. It is a D. Well, that was a cool another spill. A 46 nickel and a 46 rosy. Well, Matt's calling me over. He just dug one. Looks like it's going to be another wheat scent. Something else in there, though, I believe. Looks like a 46 or a... 40 something. Looks like a 46, maybe. Scratched it too much. Just a weedy, but still cool. I just dug a deep one. Popped up a nice... I don't know if you won't be able to hear this. I'll put my headphones by it. That's a mid-tone, it's hitting 69, 68, and I just popped up with a little Indian. Looks like a 1905 or 6. Cool. Another Indian out here in Reed. Alright, see you at the next hole.